Hey, hey, Tony Gas is here. Hey, let, let me clear something up because it, all the time, sometimes I see guys, they'll be, they'll be like, oh, you are such and such 2.0. Like they call me the second version of another guy who does relationship, who speaks on a relationship. Let me clear something up. I was the first black male relationship coach to go viral online. What I mean by that is I wrote my first book in 2007 and I got kicked off my college football team at 21. I wrote my book at 22. The book was an idea from a friend and two years later, Steve Harvey wrote a book at like a later think like a man. And then three years later was the earliest existence. Now, we're not talking about pastors who speak on, who teach a sermon on love and relationships like a Miles Monroe or somebody like that. We're talking about people who built their brand online. Three years after Steve Harvey book was when like the next big wave Three to five years after was when the next big wave of black men talking on relationships. So that's when social media really took over. And for my first three years of sharing what I learned as a young man dating, and I'm sharing it for college age individuals, I didn't make a dime. There, there was no money to be made. Like my, my book, when I wrote my book, my first royalty check, which is a royalty check for like three months or something, was $300. So a lot of times people think that, oh, people just doing it for money. No, there are people who have a story to tell and it's connected to purpose and they doing it with a genuine heart. The, the guys who doing it for money, you can always tell when somebody is clout chasing. You can always tell when somebody just want to be known. They just want to be famous because they in every blog page's comments. They commenting everywhere and they doing everything to drive attention back to themselves. And they only do videos with celebrity names and with a lot of celebrity topics. That's the only type of videos they'll really do. And you can always tell that. But... There are some of us out here who really trying to do it the honest way and for the right reasons. And the reason why a lot of guys know other guys other than me is because those guys came out with the intention to clout chase. Whereas I just slow and steady, just doing the work and I'm teaching as I'm learning. Like I'm teaching as I'm learning. I've never once in my bio ever anywhere put expert relationship expert relationship guru never once and don't even like to be called that because all, all i do is as i learn i teach but the area where we struggle the most in is with a man a black man being with a woman marrying her and being faithful to her that's where we struggle the most. Like we don't struggle in sports. We don't struggle in making money. We don't struggle in these other areas. Even, even being a father, we got a lot of good fathers, but one of the hardest things that we don't see a whole lot of is a man being married and being faithful and, you know, not playing games. And so that's what I try to share is as I made that change, and I became that man from when I was dating to when I got married and I had to learn how to be married and be faithful and grow as a man, made every mistake that every man made. It's just as I make the mistake, I then learn the lesson. And as I learn the lesson, then I teach it. And that's what a lot of people don't understand. Like <laughs> it's really just about the each one teach one type of thing It's really about just reaching out, trying to help. It ain't even about trying to be no guru and trying to be seen as something special. And, and to be honest with you, <laughs> I talked to my homeboy today. I was like, man, let's start a boxing podcast. Like, I don't like talking about love and relationships because I'm in a relationship. So the more you talk about it, 
then the more you're going to go through, the more spiritual warfare you invite into your life. That's why I don't try to parade my wife and like go on a podcast tour with her and, and put her out there and force her to speak as a relationship coach and force her to partner with me in business and to do a podcast with me and to do all that and try to monetize because me and my wife, we could do reels every day. If we just was concerned with making money, we could do reels. We could have a YouTube channel together. We could have a pod, a relationship podcast together. Like even the book that we wrote together was not our idea. That was the publisher idea. They said, Tony, we're going to give you a two book deal. The first book is your book. The second book, we wanted to be you and your wife. And she just ain't want the deal to fall through. So she said, what the heck, I'll do it. But we don't even like exposing our relationship and putting our problems in the in the public and talking about what we going through and what we dealing with. I have to teach on the stuff because I've been called to the space and I'm responsible in the space. So I go through everything just like everybody else. Like we, we got to make a relationship work just like everybody else. So you think somebody want to be... <laughs> It's kind of like if a coach is trying to get his team to win games. If he's coaching and he's a head coach, he don't also want to be a coaching consultant and doing coaching seminars and training other coaches and consulting other coaches all day because he got to be in his office scouting and getting ready for the game and recruiting and so that's the same thing with being a relationship coach. Like a lot of people think that, oh, it's just this, this field that's so glitz and glam and everybody want to be in it. Man, listen, the real ones that's in it, we we wish we could do something else. The real ones that's in it, we wish that our voice wasn't needed in the space. We wish that our people had it figured out and we didn't have to be an example or to be a role model or to chime in. And guess what? It hold me across. It hold me accountable across the board, because it's a it's a lot that you could get away with just on a day to day to day basis. Like my wife don't be all all following me and sneaking up and checking up and all of that. So it's like if I wanted to play the game, I could actually play the game and get away with it, other than getting away with it from God. But I could hide it from man, meaning from mankind. I could hide it from men and women. And go a while getting away with it until you get exposed. But by me doing this and, and being responsible and people hearing my voice and seeing the example and seeing me grow and learn and, and then teach, it hold me accountable. <clears throat> like I was just with my guys. And a lot of times people don't <laughs> people don't realize it because the, the guys who know me, they always they can't really say nothing. Like, they can't really come in the comments because people going to think that because of the guy code, they're going to be like, man, he's just lying for him anyways. But any guy who know me personally, they will tell you, and any guy who's ever met me and, like, spent time with me, like, whether that's a day or whether we go somewhere or just whatever, any guy that's ever met me, they'll tell you that I do not curse, that I do not smoke, that I do not cheat on my wife, I don't holler at no other women, I don't get into no funny business, they'll tell you that. But they never show up in the comments and say that just because just where we from, it really ain't, really ain't like that. And then also, it's kind of like if a man stamp another man and say, no, nah, he don't do that, then his woman going to be like, well, you stamping him, do you do that? Is, is you faithful? Do you get down? Do you do little crazy stuff? So... You know, you just have to be out on an island. Have to be on an island. But, you know, I got homeboys, but it ain't really... I'm not popular or, or, or cool like in the industry for whatever reason. And I, I don't know why. I honestly really can't care about it. Just got to do what God called me to do because at the end of the day, that's who holds my eternity. I can't worry about what people are thinking, but... To, to the guys out there that's confused, listen, man, I'd rather do something else. I'd rather talk about something else, but I have to lend to that space because if I shut up, and I tried to shut up before, if I shut up, 
the devil sent all his minions who are only focused on money and being famous and they start to just run relationships in the ground. The, the advice they give be terrible. Just, it be so many holes in what they saying and it's all really a setup so that they can play the game. So that they can get women. And a lot of guys, that's why a lot of guys accuse me. I seen a guy yesterday <laughs> um, commenting on my video. He was like, says the pretty boy who is laying with all the women. Like a lot of guys assume that what I'm that when I'm speaking on love relationship is to get women, and that I, they assume that I could have a brand and like have millions of people online on social media and actually go out and cheat on my wife consistently and just be in these like affairs and just be sleeping with all these women and it not come out. Like they assume it's to get women, but it's actually the opposite. It's to keep women away. Like I talk how I talk and I walk heavy to keep women away because I done been that guy. I done live that life. Like that ain't that ain't something I want to live at this stage of my life. Like that's I was young and dumb. That ain't something I, I'm raising two sons. Like what what I look like trying to be an example to my sons, but also cheating on their mama. It's it's the dumbest thing in the world. But as, what's even more sad about it is that as black men, we have so few examples of real men, of honest men of integrity that when black men see a real man,